used to think they used to think it was a serial killer and they didn't, couldn't figure it out what the fuck was going on uh so this is what what could potentially happen and what has happened i don't think potentially is a word <laughs> It is when you, it is it is when you've done this Uh, 2021. I, you totally, you, I totally I, didn't see you reading that out of your computer. I almost, I almost said 1996. No, 2021. Uh, <laughs> Shit. Uh, Don't that get that. What's going on, Kike? What's up, son? Uh, not much, man. Just you know, fucking is it, work. Is it raining over there? No, not yet. I don't think so. It's raining over here. We got hail like an hour oh, ago. No. We got hail. A- couple of days ago man that's nuts and i was driving fuck that yeah it's not global warming uh the earth is changing positions we're gonna have a new north and south pole uh probably by the year 2030 the ice caps are gonna melt uh there's gonna be flooding everybody who lives on the east coast and west coast and florida you're all gonna be underwater you better fucking move to central america uh it's happening fuck you all uh it's not global warming okay the earth is moving uh wake up but anyways uh, a lot of cool stuff happened uh, we got some fucking good ass spoilers. We got a leaker, another leaker. He revealed mm-hmm. a lot of Thor, uh, Ragnarok stuff. Uh, we got some more leaks about Flash movie, uh, and we got some more leaks about fucking well, not leaks, but we got the Venom trailer today, and a lot of other shit, cool stuff. We're gonna go over, uh, but let's get this show on the world, on the road. You know, uh, let's start with the YouTube comments. We didn't get too many comments, but we said as long as we get some, we're gonna show them up. You know what it is. Uh, we're gonna start with a new guy, uh, Mr. David Ramirez. Uh, and David Ramirez said, "Hey, you guys, I can't find it, but there's a video out there with one of the directors. He's talking about Mortal Kombat, I think, where he tweeted, I can't believe you guys haven't noticed it, and it's about Sub Zero being alive. After Scorpion does the fatality, he burns him, and he's on the floor. The camera shows him, and his eyes open. Oh, I didn't." I, I don't remember seeing that. No, I was really high, but I have to go back and pause it or, or slow it down. Uh, but I'm sure you're right. And yeah, Sub Zero is alive because he's gonna be. Well, he's not literally alive, but he's gonna be Noob Cybot. Uh, I don't think Goro's alive. Nah. They cut his arm off. His chest it's open. It's fine. I like him dead because I didn't like the CGI on that character. Yeah, it could have been. The whole character in general could have been better. Could have given him yeah. more of a backstory, some more lines. He mm-hmm. spoke in the middle of the fight. I don't know what the fuck he said. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, David, uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking and commenting, bros. Uh, to our brand new pal, David Ramirez. We say cheers, bud. Cheers. All right. Uh, next, um, we got Robo. Igert. He said, my dudes, I'm late. I've been working. He didn't see the video right away because he was working, I guess. Uh, I got to check out. This big flats beer. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> no, don't do it. Bro. And hopefully, hopefully they don't sell it anymore. Cause you're yeah. gonna regret it. You're gonna regret paying uh, a cheap price for a very cheap beer. Four twenty-five. Uh, yeah. <laughs> your head. Your head is not gonna like it the next day. It's. Oh my god. No, just don't do it, bro. Uh, <laughs> he goes. Andrew Garfield is so full of shit. <laughs> I wonder when we will get the trailer. Cheers, my dudes. Andrew Garfield is full of shit. And we probably won't we won't get the trailer till November, uh, I bet. Uh, but anyways, cheers, Robo, number one fan. You know what it is, bro. We cheers. love you. Keep it up. Um, and next we got uh, Joan Clark. And she's covering my face over here, but it's okay. Uh, not she. He. He's covering my face over here, but it's okay. <laughs> Joan, uh, she says, oh, I don't believe in political correctness. I'm too rebellious, laughing my ass off. But yeah, I agree that we're all brown in some way. No, we're brown in a lot of ways. Uh, dis- <laughs> disappointed Blade isn't getting pushed back. I'm disappointed Blade is getting pushed back, and I pray to God that it's rated R. I hope so too. And they don't yeah, make it yeah. into a Deadpool joke fest. Yeah, we don't need another Deadpool. Uh, also, agree that uh, uh, M- M- Marsh. Uh, he said Marshall. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Marshall Ali was the best part of season one of Luke Cage. Yeah, he was. And he was only in it for like two episodes. Uh, once he dies, it was super corny. Yeah, after the second episode or some mm-hmm. shit, the show sucked. Uh, 
Uh, but at least it wasn't as bad as Iron Fist. Uh, I didn't finish watching Luke Cage, so I can't verify, but Iron Fist was pretty shitty. I will verify that. Uh, <laughs> peace and love. Y'all keep up the good work. Um, Joan, you keep up the good work, man. Uh, spread the uh, spread the word. Uh, tell your friends. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And then, like I said, uh, cheers, Joan. You rock. Thank you to all subscribers, everybody out there who likes and uh, listens and watches. We appreciate you all. Uh, make make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, this guy <laughs> this guy down here told me some some some. This guy over here, he, he's fucking like uh, autistic or something. Or, or actually, no, 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 he's not autistic. He's like Elon Musk. He's Asperger's, and uh, that he, sounds a lot better. Yeah, he's Asperger's, and he said some shit about only forty four percent of you who are watching are not subscribed. Uh, so we need you guys to subscribe. We're gonna be those guys now begging for shit. Uh, you know. <laughs> we want to be those guys that are begging for shit. Please subscribe. Help us. Our families are dying. Uh, some shit like that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's move on, man. Nobody, nobody came here to hear fucking bullshit. Let's let's get on to this. Uh, right. We're gonna start off slow before we kick it into the good shit. Uh, this is something that I ran into, and it pops up on my feed every once in a while. And, and man, this shit was so cool. There's this guy. Uh, his name is Cesar Castillo Marquez. Uh, probably from South America or Mexico. I don't know. I might be wrong. Anyways, he's south of the border. Um, but this motherfucker has a, he's a digital artist, uh, illustrationist, Photoshop user, and a Marvel fan. Uh, and he, and he, that's his Instagram up there, uh, illusionista.co, whatever the fuck. Uh, he has a podcast, Illusion Man. Um, but he does digital art, and he did this concept, digital art, that is, it's called, it's like a movie. Uh, that he, he wants made, and I totally want it made too, it's called Captain America, The Last Mission. And he put the, it's basically uh, Captain America returning the stones. And he has some bad ass fucking artwork. I'm uh, showing you uh, some of the pictures here. Um, Kike, what do you think of this fucking artwork and his idea about wanting you know, this to be a movie? You know, when you sent me the email, <clears throat> when you sent me the email, I was coming through because I was like at work. Uh, and I thought this guy worked at Marvel and he leaked some pictures pictures and i was like holy fuck this guy is worse than the spaniards <laughs> he actually fucked them over i thought this was real this Dude, guy's really good he, this is i can tell look let me just say so, and i need you to see my face he put in a lot of time to make these pictures yeah uh, because it's flawless i mean the the, yeah. the person who photoshops the kardashians asses isn't even this good <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> hey, Kim Kardashian, you should hire Cesar Castillo Marquez to fucking Photoshop your ass a little better because every, every fucking po poster you, you put on Instagram, everybody knows it's fake and shit. And you got like seven fingers, you know, and shit like that. Uh, this is good stuff, man. And, and how good of a movie would it be to see Chris Evans go back once again and return all the stones and have little adventures as he's returning the stones, bro? Yeah, dude. It's fucking sick. Uh, that is pretty sick. I'm still going through the pictures. Oh yeah. This no, is awesome, bro. They're amazing, dude. Uh, he did a good job, man. It must have taken him hours mm -hmm. of fucking work. Uh, yeah. We're going to promote this guy, the Illuso Man. Uh, fucking uh, Cesar Castillo Marquez. Make sure you follow him. Subscribe to him. Even if you don't know Spanish, you just fucking follow him. And he's going to post cool pictures you can look at during the day. Uh, fuck yeah. yeah. Uh, nice. Another shit that happened, uh, I think it was like Friday or Saturday, you know, <coughs> one of the days, um, we got our very first look from the Hulu series uh, about Tam Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson, and we got our first look at Sebastian Stan and Lily James as uh, Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson Lee. What do you think of this shit? I saw this during the weekend. Yeah. And I didn't notice. I was scrolling. I was on Instagram. I was just scrolling. Oh, okay. Why is this guy talking about Pamela Anderson and this motherfucker? So I went back and I was like, I think it was Zach Braff that posted this fucking picture. And he tagged him. And I was like, why is he tagging this motherfucker? <laughs> and then I saw it's motherfucking him, bro. I was like, wow. I could. I thought it was Pam and fucking, uh, what's his fucking face? Look, I can't judge. Tommy Lee. Yeah, yeah. I can't judge it because 
I don't know if he's gonna act good. Like I don't know if he's gonna act like yeah. Tommy Lee. I, I don't know yet. Uh, to me, he doesn't really look like him. Well, yeah, I mean, like the face is not the same. He not need, not, not only that, too... but he's that... really he's really short. Tommy Lee's a tall ass motherfucker. Mm -hmm. He's a tall ass motherfucker. Oh. Uh, well, you, know, you know actors. Well, yeah, I know. Uh, and it's kind of weird that they're making a Tommy Lee and Pam biopic. Uh, or actually, it's not a biopic. It's a series that's going to be on Hulu probably one season long. Because, yeah. I mean, obviously, they, they didn't go out for that. We weren't married for that long. They made a porno tape. <laughs> if you all don't know, go look at it. Uh, they made a porno tape. They didn't guy. Anyways, let's keep on moving. Uh, yeah. Uh, they already made. They, did you not see the movie The Dirt? No, never saw it. Oh, my friend. Go to Netflix and search uh -huh. The Dirt, and mm -hmm. it is a biopic, a bio movie about uh -huh. Motley Crue. Oh, okay, cool. And Machine Gun Kelly plays Tommy Lee, and I got to tell you, he looks more like Tommy Lee than, than fucking Sebastian yeah. Stan. Yeah, but I mean, he's uh, he's uh, he's skinnier. Yeah. Machine Gun Kelly, and he's and taller. I didn't recognize Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, yeah. Stuart Towns Townsend Townsford something like that. He's in it too. He's a uh, fucking Nikki Six. He's the one oh, from okay. uh, he's the one from the uh, what was that called? Uh, the Queen of the Damned movie, uh, Lestat. Oh yeah, Lestat. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He he's in it too. He's fucking badass. Uh, the movie The Dirt is good. I hope this is good too. If it's R, it probably will be good because that movie's yeah. R and that movie doesn't hold back. They show everything: the drugs, the sex, the violence. That movie's hardcore, dude. They show Ozzy going in there and fucking snorting <laughs> snorting ants and pissing on the fucking floor and shit. It's crazy. And Does it's he do the laugh? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, because he's all drunk. He's like, eh, he's <laughs> oh, no, he's doing the other one. He, he pissed. Dude, all those are true stories. Because uh, I've read all those in rock magazines when I was a little kid. And yeah. when I saw that movie, I was like, that's fucking true because I fucking, like, they've said it in interviews, man. That shit's real. Uh, I don't know. We'll see when this shit, I hope they show a trailer sooner or later. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. We'll see. We'll see how this turns out because uh, uh, I'm just like whatever about it. Uh, uh, let's get into some more whatever news. Uh, we're just, I don't know if you noticed, we're just killing time because we have some really good, exciting fucking spoilers and some good stuff to talk about. But that shit's only probably like half an hour, you know, and then what? We got like nothing else. <laughs> so yeah. I, I, I went and looked for stuff. And I looked for interesting stuff, man. And hopefully some of the stuff that you guys will find interesting and shit. Uh, but apparently back in the 90s, um, whoever used to have the Star Wars toy license, uh, the license ran out. And so I then I guess, and mind you, I didn't do enough research, so I don't know. So I'm just making, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming, uh, just you know, by a process of elimination, that Lucas owned own, own the license and they would sell it out. And so when the license, uh, whoever was making those toys ran out, Lucas has the license again, and he said, all right, well, it's up for sale. And so then you had all these companies, we want it, we want it, we want it, and they were offering, and and, and Lucas is like, hey, I, hey, I, hey, on. How about you show me some designs of what you plan to do with the fucking, like, what toys you're going to design and do. And maybe and now I'll pick who I want. Because Lucas is all about quality. He ain't going to pick some dumbass fucking shitty ass Korean company to go make some toys that are going to fall apart. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, they go ahead and they all send designs. And Playmates, who at that time had the Ninja Turtle license and were making the toys for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the 90s uh, wanted the Star Wars license and they sent in the designs to Lucas uh, Lucas fucking films and uh, I gotta show you a couple of these designs and I gotta tell you man I'm glad these fucking toys didn't get made uh, the first ones here I'm gonna show oh let me uh, I kind of oh, yeah, I don't know I kind of like them well the first two I'm gonna show is April O'Neil and Shredder slash April uh, Princess Leia Princess April O'Neil and and Darth Shredder look I understand you want to incorporate turtle shit into it but why the fuck does April's stuff has turtle scales on it her jumpsuit in the cartoon never had turtle scales I think anyone who who it's would watch the cartoon, it doesn't matter. Anybody in the exactly, if it's a mashup, where did the turtle scales on her outfit come from? Cause she never had those, and Princess Leia sure as fuck doesn't have those. 
So what do you want to add then? Nothing. I just want it to be yellow, like her suit, <laughs> like her goddamn suit, not turtle scales. Any idiot could tell that's April O'Neil just with the yellow suit and the red hair. You know. Anyways, that's my complaint about that. And then we got this piece of trash over here, Darth Shredder. <sighs> that looks pretty cool, man. I don't know. What the fuck is he holding here on his side? Some little canisters and shit of what? That looks like a blowhorn. That's spray, something spray. So it could be something, I don't know. And why is the lightsaber a pipe? And it's dripping. Because, man, it was the 90s, bro. <laughs> you have to have slime. I was from the 90s. <laughs> fucking shit. And then we have Krang down there fucking humping his leg like some kind of fucking like, unneutered dog and shit. Pick me up. Do you like these two designs? I would do. You... Well, all right. You would have bought them as I toys? Do. Fuck yes, I would. I'll say, it's, I guess... It's a nice no novelty, man. Like, well, you have a crossover. Whenever you have a crossover, it's kind of cool, man. And and those, they don't make them because not a lot of people like them. Like yourself. But then, time passes over, and then people want them. And you can't get them because nobody liked them. I'll tell you what, I never liked that uh, Batman Teenage Mutant Turtle Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle crossover. And I don't think anyone uh, else did either. Stupid. But anyway, it's a good fucking movie. Oh, you saw it? Yes, I own it. Oh my God. Mhm. Mm All right, let's see the turtles because these these get even worse, people. Or at least I think so. Here's Leonardo and uh, I guess Michelangelo. Um, it pisses me off. Let me just tell you all the things that piss me off. All right, let's see. Right. Let's start with Leonardo over here. Uh, God damn it. What? Why is the lightsaber a fucking pizza that's melting? It pisses me off. And they, they, they made Donatello into a shriveled old man. It's Yoda back there hanging yeah, from his shell. Yeah, he's the smart one. And the most offensive thing in the world is they fucking uh made Raphael into r2d2 the toughest most badass of the turtles into a stupid little droid that goes i'm not sure what it goes like that but uh, okay <laughs> that's my r2d2 impression you ass uh, yeah i don't know Raphael. <laughs> All right, oh. this guy's the impressionist. I'm not, <laughs> just so you know. This guy does voices. He's got, like, thousands of voices. <laughs> Trust me. Um, and then we got Michelangelo over here with Donatello again. Now there's two Donatellos, apparently, in this universe. One's fucking Yoda, and the other one's fucking C-3PO. It's a little mashup thing. It doesn't have to make sense. It does to this guy. Maybe, <laughs> I, maybe I'm the one with Asperger's. Uh. <laughs> Anyways... Yeah, Michelangelo's Chewbacca, and he has a fucking gun, and he's angry, and... Oh, now you know why? Oh, my God. I'm glad that he's gonna get made. I'm just glad. I'm just glad. If you like him, that's fine. Dude, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna relaunch these, and people are gonna go crazy about them. Look, when I was a kid, and I, and I did... Uh, I went, went to the store with my mom, and, and maybe she said, you can pick one toy. I looked at the Ninja Turtles, and yes, they had... Raphael in space and Hawaiian Michelangelo and yeah. uh, fucking firefighter Raphael or Leonardo. Uh, let me tell you one thing. I don't. I never asked my mom for any of those fucking toys because I knew in the cartoons they never dressed up like that. And so well, I did, and I got them. God damn it! Look at this guy. <laughs> I hated those. Those were. I love. I love, these. I, I love the toys, but those specific toys I hate. I'm like, <laughs> this is not from the cartoon. This is a lie. I would tell my mom, and I was like, I don't want this. I want that one that I saw in the cartoon, that that's the way he looks. What the fuck yeah. is that? You were such a boring kid. <sighs> <laughs> I was a kid with Asperger's. <laughs> Maybe I do have Asperger's. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, you were God. fucking, like, measuring it. Yeah, those are the right proportions. <laughs> yes. That is that is one sixteenth of the scale of the actual character. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. Yeah, that was weird. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, I'm going to get another beer uh, because uh, we need to get more fucked up. <laughs> uh, we'll yeah. be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, cheers, my dudes. Ah, 
nice cold ice. All right, now we're gonna get into some fucking spoilers. Let's do this. We got some fucking set photos again from somebody who's either sneaking around there or who works there. Uh, the the Flash, uh, the movie. Where did you say this? Uh, uh, I was gonna say set. This Lincoln, Lincolnshire. Place? Lincolnshire. In England, and this is where the mansion that was in the original 1989 Batman movie that bring Wayne Manor. Uh, this is the exact same one, and they're going back there to film. And uh, and we get several of these pictures, you know, and there's smoke coming out. I don't know why the, why the fuck there's smoke. Uh, do you think you know? Because I sure as fuck don't know. And they're probably um, creating fog to make it look more like You're right. Cold. Like it, yeah, you're right. Like uh, morning or nighttime, midday, mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, here, right? That's exactly what's going on. There's a fog machine there, and the motherfuckers there making a... Mm -hmm. Polluting the air, killing, killing yeah, the... Course. Killing the wildlife. Uh, of course, there's a, a... What do you call it? A... Shit, I'm fucking high. A fan? Uh... Not a fan, but like, uh, what do you call those things that pull shit up and down? A crane. Uh, in the background, behind yeah. the fucking uh, building. You're right, you're right, there is a crane. So uh, there's probably going to be some shots that are going to be aerial, or someone's going to be like, doing acrobatics of some sort. I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know about there the acrobatics, but yeah, I, I think the aerial stuff. Or maybe they just used it to move stuff on on there. Maybe they put stuff up yeah. there on the roof. Or, or maybe they pulled up a wall. Maybe like a green screen on outside. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. Whatever it is, uh, something's happening and it has to do with smoke. <laughs> Whatever it is, something's happening. It has to do with smoke and shit. Let's go some more pictures. And these I are pictures. Gonna, I was gonna smoke a little bit before. I was like, oh, nah, you're good. <laughs> Dude, this is like my first buzz of the whole fucking day, so... Me too. I'm good. I like the first buzz. Uh, anyways, uh, we got some first set photos of what I think is Michael Keaton. Mm. Walking the fucking grounds. Uh, and he's covered. And he's got a mask because it's COVID. Uh, and covered his face because he doesn't know any of these fucking uh, workers here that, that fucking are walking around with... Uh, Hanging out with people and shit, spreading diseases. He doesn't know. Uh, so that's what he's doing. Uh, do you think uh, that's he... Michael Keaton? Well, I was about to say, like, my... isn't Michael Keaton, like, completely bald by now? Uh, uh, he has a little bit of hair on the sides and shit. Does yeah. He... That guy's, uh, you could tell he's bald. Look at his, it's yeah. shiny. It's shiny at the top of his head. <laughs> but, you know, Batman wasn't bald, so I don't know if they're going to use a wig for him. Are they? They're not going back in time, you ass. The present I'm... is changing. I know. So he's know, still I old. I knew you were going to fucking say that, you idiot. Some people keep their hair while they grow. Not not this Batman. He lost his hair. All right. That's why they're not going to deep fake him because he's just old. All right. He's supposed to be old. Now, Ben Affleck, he's supposed to be old, but they couldn't make him that old. All they did was gray his sideburns, and it's like, motherfucker, fucking... Throw some fucking makeup on that son of a bitch. Add some fucking wrinkles or something. Make him look old and withered. An old, tired Batman who's who's sick and tired of all the villains. You know. Yeah. I don't know. Do, do you think this is Michael Keaton? I think this is Michael Keaton. Nah. Who is this then? No idea. Some fucking Just a extra random dude that wants to wear a trench random coat dude. and a mask. Yeah. And happens to be bald. Yeah, I'm sorry if you hear thunder and lightning. I I closed the door, but. That motherfucker was loud right loud there. as fuck. Yeah. Uh, I might die tonight. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I'm in this is tornado country over here. So who knows? You know what? Now that I see it, maybe because of his height, maybe it is him. I think it is. I think this is he's our first. He's a short guy, man. I think this is our first official look at Michael Keaton. Uh, he's on the set. I mean, he's not right now shooting, obviously, but he's on the set and he's just walking around using his cell phone and shit. Uh, I don't think anyone's picked up on this. Uh, probably because they don't want to dare to say. Nah, he's not. You see, on the second picture, he looks like he has more, like, like broader fucking shoulders. You think he's wearing the 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 thing, the trench coat because they're trying to cover his co costume? Yes. And it looks think... like a beard from this other angle. It's, it doesn't look like a face it, mask. It's a fa it's a mask. It's it's just a mask, like COVID mask, but it drips down. He's got it covered all the way. It, it's just like una tela. It's just a tela that hangs. That's what he's using. I've seen some people use it and they look stupid, but he's a celebrity and he probably thinks it's cool. <laughs> uh, 
It's like it's like the 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 Muslim women. You know, they they cover this and it goes it drapes all the way down. That's all he's doing. Yeah, it's, it's I, the same I shit. I just find it fucking weird. It's it is weird. weird. I, like, I, I saw somebody wearing that and I was like, I mean, but, but like if but you I see, also see people. I also see here. people wearing the the neck the neck stuff that pulls up to here. That looks weird too. Yeah. The turtleneck thing when they pull it all the way up to here. I think that looks weird too. But it's what hey, hey, to each his own, man. You wear what you want to be safe. I, I think that's him, and I think he is wearing the bat suit underneath. That's why he has the trench coat to cover it, so no one sees well, it outside of. It's really broad shoulders, and I, he looks heavier on these. This other picture, I don't know if it's him, man. To be honest with you, and that looks more like a beard. That's just my point of view, man. We'll see when the movie comes out. We'll know if that was Michael Keaton or not by the way he looks in the movie. Uh, let's move on. Fuck these pictures. Uh, we got some more fucking disappointing news. Uh, Josh Wheaton just... And I thought we had seen the last of this son of a bitch. But no. Mm -mm. No. No. Apparently he made Gal Gadot cry. How dare you, sir? How what about, about you fucking dare old piece of shit? you, you piece of fucking shit, make this woman cry? <laughs> Fuck you, Josh Wheaton. This son of a bitch apparently was, uh, like, and we've already heard, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's true. Ray Fisher's apparently been not lying this whole time. Uh, this guy's a fucking dick. Uh, Ray Fisher handled it the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. He got the, he got the pot stirring. And I guess now his fellow Justice League, uh, cast members are starting to speak up. And Gal Gadot, uh, was saying that this motherfucker was bragging that, uh, that he told her... That he's the writer, and she better shut up and and and, and say the lines that he says, uh, because he can make it look incredibly stupid on screen, because you know, he can. He's a director. And uh, the rumor is that she got mad and she fucking stormed out and went went to the head head offices. I don't I don't think Walter Hamada was in charge at that point. He may have, but I don't think so. I don't think he had come in yet. But she went to mm -hmm. the top, complained, and 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 she was ready to quit and shit. And they ain't gonna let her quit. Wonder Woman, one billion dollar fucking franchise movie by herself. Uh, they're not gonna let her go. And so they're like, wait, wait, Miss Miss Gadot, Miss Gadot, no, what, what do you, what do you, what do you want? What do you, what will it take to keep you here with us? And she said, I want one of you motherfuckers in the suits down there when I'm filming to make sure that son of a bitch doesn't even talk to me or come close to me. And that's the only and way. There was thunder like that, just yeah. like. Yeah, and that's the only, <laughs> and that's the only way I'll go down there. And they're all like, <gasps> and uh, so yeah, every time she saw she shot uh, a scene for these reshoots, uh, there was a uh, suit, an executive there, mm -hmm. uh, to keep the peace or keep him away from her and not to say anything stupid, because uh, he's a dumbass. Uh, yeah. 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 What a shame, bro. What, what a, a shame. shame. Cause... I actually liked some of the stuff that he made, man. Like Firefly, that was a really good show. But Buffy the Vampire hey, dude, like, was good too. But you know, even that Cordelia chick yeah. came out and was saying a bunch of shit that this son of a mm -hmm. bitch was, you know, being an asshole. Um, it is sad, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, it only goes to show if you keep being an asshole, you're gonna get caught. Yeah. I mean, I'm an asshole, but I'm not an asshole to people. <laughs> You know, unless they come and start bothering me, then yeah. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. I was over here chilling by myself. You came over here and started bothering me. You know what? You're about to know what an asshole's like. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and it was your mom. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes I don't want to be bothered. I don't know why people try. I don't. I don't know why people think they have. They. They. That. They, 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 I need a phone call right after work. When I just got home. And, and I'm sitting down taking off my shoes that I the, the the one thing I want most in life is for the goddamn phone to ring so I can sit there and talk to somebody for 15 <laughs> fucking minutes I haven't even relaxed I haven't even left work technically my mind is still there and you fucking uh, anyways let's happy move on. Mother's Day <laughs> let's move on <laughs> Uh, dude, uh, we talked about this in the last uh, the last episode. Uh, Mr. Dave Bautista said uh, that 
as far as he's concerned, he only's got three movies, Guardian movies, and then he's done with Drax. So he had said they're probably gonna kill Drax and shit. Uh, and uh, he, he tweets, this man tweets, and so he tweeted again, and and he said, uh, IGN uh, posted. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 because they thought the same thing I said. I said, well, he's, he's dying. They're going to kill him. Guardians, guys, IGN posted, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 might be the last time we see Drax in the MCU. And uh, Dave tweeted back to them. He replied to them and he says, well, Drax isn't going anywhere. He just is not, he's not going to be played by me. Uh, by the time uh, Guardians 3 comes out, I'll be 54 years old. So for God's sakes, I'm expecting everything to start sagging any second now. And he's talking about his—he's <laughs> talking about his tits and shit. Uh, yeah. Um, Maybe he just wants to pick out, man. Let the man pick out. No, oh, he's tired. He wants to move on and do other roles. I mm. guess. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you think you think he's using this as an excuse? I'm gonna be too old for that. Well, look. And he wants look. to broaden his he, like. Well, think about career. it. 54 years old, and they want you to, to look fucking huge? Come on, man. You, you, you lose muscle mass regardless whether you're working out or not as you get old. You lose muscle mass. You lose strength. What? There's people out naturally. there that are fucking huge still, bro. Luther Igno, have you seen him? He's still fucking big, bro. How, how old is Luther Igno? He's not fucking 70, fucking 80 years old. eight or something like that, bro. Well, oh, fuck. You know, He's in his 60s. Right. But that doesn't matter. The physique, I think he's using it as an excuse. Well, he might be. I think he's trying to. You know? I think he's just trying to move on, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's using the whole like, well, I'm gonna be 50 years old, 54 years old. Uh, I'm everything's gonna be sagging. But you know, hey, just say, hey, I wanna broaden my fucking, you know, my career. I wanna, you know, make other stuff. Good for you, bro. You don't have to use excuses. You're fucking Dave Bautista, bro. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I mean, people should be afraid of you. you know. <laughs> I would be. He, you already went to ask for a, for a job in DC, and and I, I bet you had they were scared, and they're probably gonna start making. A... Holy shit! <laughs> you you should have seen your expression. <laughs> oh my god, man! Uh, I think Thor is fighting God the God Butcher. A couple do a couple blocks down the street from me, man. And we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. He's leaving, man. He's leaving. And, but James Gunn, he fucking retweeted. He or he tweeted back to him, mm -hmm. and he said, "There's no Drax for me without you, buddy. You're the MCU's Drax the Destroyer, and as far as I'm concerned, I could never could never be replaced. And if you have the right to do whatever you want with your action, acting choices, you see, he knows. He probably already talked to him about it." He probably knows already, like, it's about, he, he wants something else, man. He does, so. he does want something else, and he's probably asking, he's probably asking Marvel to kill the character, and they're saying no. You know? Yeah. I, I bet you, you know, and, and, and I don't blame him, because look, dude, mm -hmm. uh, look at the way he fucking looks. Number one, he's completely covered green, painted green, all the way up to here, dude. All the way up to there, because the only thing you see is not the pink stuff, you know. All the way up to there, they fucking paint green, and all the way up to there. doing that today? Well, no, yeah, because uh, yeah, because I know people freak out, but you need to know the truth, because that's how fucking close they're getting to paint him green. And, and then, they put all this fucking extra layer of fucking tattoos, because that's rays, dude. That's like a, a layer of silicone they put on him again, on top, and then they respray him and paint him again. Uh, and it probably takes like six hours and he probably yeah. hates it and he's done after four or five movies he's already done as Drax because yeah. think about it it takes him six hours or whatever the fuck long to, to dress him up like that and then in reality because he's a side character he's only in the movie for ten minutes yeah <laughs> that must suck you know what the fuck yeah. is he dressing up like that every day for six hours, putting up with all that shit? And then he got to put contacts in his eye. He got to open his eye and he got to put a contact. Ah, stop it. it! I mean, fuck! Uh, I don't blame him. Okay, you're done. <laughs> stop touching your fucking face! Jesus fucking Christ! Jesus! Ah! <laughs> fucking asshole! <laughs> Dave Bautista uh, wants to move on, and that's perfectly fine with me, dude. Uh, I support him. Uh, Marvel, 
Let him go. Let him free. Kill Drax. Don't be assholes. Can't do that to a person. <laughs> don't, don't be assholes. Kill him. Kill him off. <laughs> Kill him off. Uh, oh. Now to the good stuff. <coughs> We're going to get into oh, yeah. some fucking leaks. And hold on. Let me just, let me not get too excited here. Yeah, I'm going to have to take this with a grain of salt. And yeah, I got it right here. Because I wasn't going to remember. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. Because this is on 4chan where I found this. 4chan is even dirtier and more dangerous than fucking uh, Reddit. Go to 4chan, you have a virus. <laughs> Automatically. As soon as you go to 4chan, you have a virus, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> I use this... I use it's I like got going this. to Tijuana yes. to watch the donkey show. You might leave with something with like... No, you are God, this might. You are leaving with something, you idiot. Just by sitting on that chair you're gonna get something. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Anyways. Uh, uh, Alright, let's get into this. Um Oh man, this is good stuff. You will never believe this. Coming from a disgruntled employee. This guy is now uh, a disc uh, ex employee from Marvel Studios. Uh, has supposedly uh, gone to Reddit uh, 4chan and spilled the beans on Thor Love and Thunder. All right. Uh, Why was he pissed? Does he explain that? Yes, a little bit. In fact, let me just go ahead. I'm going to get right into it and read it, and then you can, we'll stop here and See, there. Then, then I'll fucking know if this is real or not. Because, like, if it's something stupid, like. Well, they didn't buy me a Porsche. Uh, no, no. On. Here we go. Uh, it's coming from this anonymous person on 4chan uh, who claims to be an ex-employee of Marvel Studios. He says... Does he talk about his position? Hang on, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Here we go. All right, all right. He goes, I was told I would be given a permanent role in Marvel Studios, but they decided to revoke my contract. So fuck them. Uh, I worked uh, full time. Nothing's permanent, man. Hang on. I worked full time on this movie as a key PA. Uh, and then he said, uh, "So now I'm just gonna spill the beans." Here we go, where uh, the leaks go, and there's just you're kind of just like bullet points. Now this is what I think. Uh, this PA guy or whatever the fuck he was doing, or because they they. They do this everywhere. They promise you something and you go and you're at the bottom and you're there. And at two years later, I'm like, hey, you said I was going to be manager. And plus, if you make a better worker, stay there. Uh, you know, they trick people into like that all the time. But whatever he was doing, these bullet points that he fucking says, it's obvious he was only there for those scenes. So he was not there on other days where they filmed the rest of the movie. So he cannot piece the whole movie together. He's basically only talking mm -hmm. about the scenes he was there. Uh, yeah, so, so, but they were recorded yeah. while he was there. So some of this may not make any sense, and, and it's going to be like, how did they get from this to this? Well, that's the mystery. That's where the rest of the movie is. Uh, but let's see if you think any of this is real, because like I said, take this with a grain of salt. It's just some asshole who posted on 4chan. He could be lying. Uh, he just did it to give you a virus on your computer. Mm -hmm. Number one, he says... <laughs> Gore the God Butcher, Christian Bale, he's going to kill Korg, which we already said the last leaker said that Korg was going to die. And I said it's obviously going to be fucking Gore the God Butcher. And he says that a lot of our guardians are going to die on Earth. Dude, this last leaker, all, and we said it's going to be all the play people, the people playing the play, they're going to fucking die because mm -hmm. he's going to get there and kill them all. Yeah. Valk Valkyrie, which is Tessa Thompson, uh, she's going to be severely wounded during that battle and we're not going to see her again until the end of the movie she's just going to be recovering which is mm. kind of weird and shitty for her yeah. for her you know what i'm saying like yeah because in the only movie she could possibly come out in is in thor because that's where she is she obviously can't come mm -hmm. out in an iron man movie or and shit like that so and then you're only going to have her there for like 15 minutes in the fucking movie it's kind of shitty man nah, it sucks but she was the whole. She was in the whole movie, the last movie. So maybe they're just tired. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> it says, uh, Gore leaves Earth when he discovers that Thor is no longer on the planet. Oh my God, dude! 
I mean, think about it. What we came up with last time about Gore the God Butcher coming and seeing those are the gods and he kills all the mm-hmm. actors. And yeah. then and then I said Korg and Sith and all those guys, they come to try to save and he's all, he kills them not th- because they're mm-hmm. like, I hey, leave them alone. And then he's going to be like, wait a minute. You guys aren't gods. You're just mortals. And he gets pissed and he leaves. Mm-hmm. Remember? Isn't that what I just that, said? That would be crazy. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we talked about. Yeah. yeah that's we what we talked about. On the way. Yeah. And we, we talked about that. And that's exactly kind of what this is coinciding with. Yeah. Uh, all right. Bullet point. I, thought, I actually, I actually, I said, wouldn't it be kind of funny if they kill the actors instead of the actual fucking people? And uh, it doesn't sound that funny now. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't. Because now it's like, this is real. This is. Yeah, somebody fucked up. They fired the wrong guy. Uh, but they're gonna find out that he's the one who's spilling the beans, an idiot. Because it's not like they fire people all the time, or do they? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They should fire Kathleen Kennedy. Is what they should do. <laughs> uh, anyways, bullet point number two. Uh, he says, "I'm pretty sure that Gore kills Russell Crowe, uh, because uh, they mentioned that he's dead." Like that, Russell okay. Crowe's playing Zeus. Remember, this is why I'm yeah, saying yeah. that this guy, he he wasn't in, he wasn't there to see every the whole movie being shot. He was only there on certain yeah. days. I don't know what his mm-hmm. position was, but he was only there on certain days. So in one of those days, they talk about Zeus being dead, and I said, Gore the God Butcher is a god killer, and and Zeus, Russell Crowe is a god. He's gonna kill. He's gonna get killed, obviously. Oh, this is where, though, it gets good. He says, bullet point number three. The beginning of the movie, it shows Gore, the God Butcher, killing Thor. But hmm. but at the very beginning of the movie, we, we also find out that it's not really Thor. So, Gore, the God Butcher, well, it is Thor. Here, let me explain it. Mm-hmm. According to this... Gore the God Butcher kills Thor. In the beginning of the movie, it starts like that. They're fighting. Oh, in space. And he fucking kills Thor. Oh, stabs him and he dies. And then Mjolnir, the hammer, flies off. And a portal opens. And the hammer goes through it. And Gore goes after the hammer. Mm-hmm. They're from another reality. From another multiverse. Hmm. Huh. Okay. And I'm starting to think. Well, I don't know. But I hope some shit where. What if he's the one from the comics? Oh, the other Thor? No, the Gore. Oh. What do you mean? He's. Because he's coming from another reality. What if he's the comic mm-hmm. book Gore? Yeah. See, the hammer yeah. goes... The hammer, it's, it's obvious the hammer supposedly, according to this leaker, the hammer's going to the MCU reality to look for another worthy, you know, person. Mm-hmm. And, it's, and, it's gotcha. le- and it's leaving that reality because there's no other person that's worthy there. Oh, what you're trying to say is that, like, Gore the God Busher, like, he killed... Our Thor or some other Thor? So he killed some other Thor from another reality. Some other Thor. Okay, that's why I didn't get. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So the beginning is gonna show us a, a mm-hmm. Thor getting killed, but we're mm-hmm. gonna right away realize that's not Thor, and you're gonna say this is because by the, think about it, this movie's coming out after Spider-Man and after Doctor Strange. So after yeah. those two movies, we're already introduced to the multiverse. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It'll, it'll be already in our heads that we know yeah. about it. We know how it works. So when we get to this movie and we see that scene, everyone's going to know, oh, that's not Thor. That's from another reality. Yeah, and gotcha. they're coming from that reality. That's a possibility. Yeah, you're right. Uh, bullet point number four. He says, uh, there's a few surviving Greek gods that team up to fight uh, with Thor. Uh, but Gore defeats them all. And uh, they're minor gods, he says. He says that Hercules is mentioned, but he's not shown. Mm-hmm. And that uh, Thor is rescued with Jane, you know, Natalie Portman. And she's carrying the hammer. She's already the mighty Thor. And uh, and this is in space. Oh, and Gore injures Star-Lord uh, really bad, but he doesn't die. 
So mm -hmm. he, he's out for the rest of the movie also. Mm -hmm. He says, I don't know how Jane... I think I understand now what's going on. Because he's saying, I don't know how they went... He goes, I personally... He goes, I don't know how they went from being on Earth to all of a sudden her carrying the hammer in space with them. But I, I understand it now. So the beginning of the movie shows Gore killing a Thor. He kills him. The hammer says, there's no one left in this reality to hold me. I'm going somewhere else. And it goes into the MCU. And Gore yeah. goes through the portal and also comes into the MCU. He's from another reality. So he comes in here. The hammer goes straight down to Earth. The, uh, to Earth. And, go and Thor and Gore goes down there. And when he gets down there to Asgard, he sees all the humans and all that shit. And he kills everybody. And then, yeah, and he leaves. And when he leaves, the hammer's because the, the, I guess the hammer hid from him or something but the hammer gets there and Jane fosters there and, and it gets her and so she becomes fucking yeah. you know whatever she becomes that so then we got Gore who ran off into space uh, and 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 I guess he that this is where he fights Thor and shit and Jane now that she has mighty Thor she goes into space meets up with the guardians of the galaxy and they go help Thor out but it doesn't matter because they say Gore the God Butcher fucks them all up. <laughs> it does. Uh, it says that Sif, uh, Lady Sif, uh, Jamie Alexander, that she sacri sacrifices herself um, for Jane when they're fighting Gore. And that there's a fight scene with Thor and Hercules. I, I don't know oh. who... They, I don't... I thought Hercules was not in this movie, but I don't even know who's playing him. It might be a nobody, but yeah. I don't know. Uh, and that they're being childish about something, uh, and hmm. that it's like it's like a funny fight, like they're like two kids fighting over bullshit. And that in the background, that Drax, they're taking bets, and Drax is all like, "I bet you Hercules is gonna win," and that Rocket's gonna be like, "Oh, I oh, bet you gotcha. Thor's gonna win," you know. And they're just betting money on them. Uh, it's just a scene, a scene where he was that mm -hmm. he he saw that being filmed. Like I told you, this guy, I don't know mm -hmm. what his and you know what his position was. He was fucking a uh, towel boy. He goes over there. Do you need a, a warm <laughs> towel, Mr. Hemsworth? Uh, he was only in those scenes. They only hired him a couple of days and shit. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so then we get to bullet point number you want seven. Towel, Mr. Hemsworth. <laughs> Mr. Hemsworth, you want a towel? They they told me I was gonna be executive vice president of this. <laughs> they lied to me. Fuck them. I'm going to say everything I saw. Hey, you should come on our podcast, dude. Tell us everything you saw in detail. Uh, uh, bullet point number seven. This is a Thor, Jane Foster, uh, or Mighty Thor. That's what she's going to be. She's going to be the Mighty Thor. Hercules and Valkyrie, they all fight Co Gore. Gore loses at the end. And he runs away. But they don't kill him. No. That's weird. That's kind of weird. I like it, though, because I just say that he can come back. Mm -hmm. But it says that Thor decides to stay with his people on Earth. He doesn't want to go into space anymore. And he invites the remaining Greek gods uh, to live with him. And uh, Jane stays with him. I'm guessing she's mighty Thor also at the end. Mm -hmm. They're both Thors now, I guess. Yeah. And Valkyrie, she stays as queen. They live in Asgard, uh, New Asgard, but uh, Valkyrie's still in charge. Um, and that's it. Mm, do you think? Do you think uh, this might be true? There's some of the stuff that I think it could be right. And now that he said about the whole like him killing a lot of people, uh, well, he could have just gotten that from from everything all everyone else has heard yeah. the past month. That's why it sounds really familiar and really like wow, this could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. I need more fucking proof. Uh, it'd be nice to hear about another fucking like sore ass uh, guy who got fired from Marvel. It'd be nice to see a trailer <laughs> because if we see a trailer, we'll fucking we'll see something that I'm like, that's exactly what he said. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see something in the trailer about all these leaks, and we'll know who's fucking right and who's wrong. But uh, to me. I think this is legit. I think this is legitimately some fucking nerd who was working there a few days <laughs> and he didn't he somebody pissed him off and he fucking got fired and and now he's spilling the beans at the the, the little things he saw cuz he wasn't there every day apparently. 
and he wasn't smart enough to take out his cell phone or didn't have enough clearance <laughs> to even walk in the building with a cell phone. Probably not. You know, so he wasn't any anybody important. <laughs> <coughs> he was a he was a water boy. <laughs> no matter what he was. We'll see. We'll see if this piece of shit's fucking right or not. Uh, enough of this. Uh, Laker. If it is really a Laker, he might be someone who's full of shit and has a big imagination. One of the greatest... And th this is finally one of the greatest things that has ever happened today. And then the only reason we're making this podcast today, uh, the motherfucking Venom Let There Be Carnage trailer dropped <laughs> this morning. Holy shit. And yeah, I'm going to get into the stuff I don't like. But I'm just giving you right away. Holy shit. I love this. All right. What are the parts that you liked about the fucking trailer? Because I thought it was like. Meh. What I like about. What I like about the trailer. And then I can tell you. I already know there's going it, to. It's just like the last movie. The Venom movie. I hate it. 40% of it. <laughs> and I liked 60% of it. And I bet you it's going to be the same with this one. I'm going to fucking hate 40% of it. And I'm going to like 60% oh of it. And that's fine. But me, as a comic book fan, growing up as a child. <laughs> I, I slammed that. I fell. I never, <laughs> I never would have imagined. <laughs> growing up as a child, I never would have imagined that these characters could ever be on film. Oh, yeah, it's it's impossible. True. I never I never thought about technology doing something Being like that. This good. And, and this was before yeah. Jurassic Park. Because when I first saw Jurassic Park, I asked my dad, did they bring dinosaurs back to life? Like, how did they do this? <laughs> and my dad even looked at me and said, they might have. I don't know. <laughs> Your dad was an asshole. <laughs> no, he wasn't an asshole. He was amazed. <laughs> it was the first time anyone saw that technology, you ass. It looked real. <laughs> My dad said, I don't know how they did that. They may have. Uh, anyways, like, yeah, it's come a long way. But Venom, Venom and Carnage, I never. He was like, by the way, dinosaurs will only come, come out at night, so you better go to sleep early. <laughs> or they'll eat you. Uh, anyways, uh, no, dude, uh, seeing Venom and Carnage, like see that, that beginning where he opens his mouth, he's like, ah. And he's about to eat that guy or at the end when carnage comes out and he's like <laughs> dude like mm -hmm. i've always wanted to see that on on the on the on the movies on a, in the movie and to me yeah. it's exciting i love that i love that i finally get to see the stuff i see in comic books brought to life i love it yeah. I, and i'm for it they put a character in there her name is shriek uh she's the girl with the weird eye uh, yeah. she's in this movie and I'm so happy they put her in this movie because she's supposed to be part of the story to begin with with Cletus Cassidy and being in jail at Ravencroft this is so badass they're trying they're trying to make it like the comic books even though it's not it's nothing well I mean some of the graphics improved I can tell you that because the first one oh my god Jesus Christ that was yeah, horrible yeah but they were trying to... I knew whoever under... whoever took this project about bringing Venom to life was going to be hard because it's I, that's why I was like, it's impossible to do Venom to look oh, like yeah. the comic books. Uh, so that's why I don't, I don't, I don't really. I knew the graphics were bad, but I wasn't dissing it too bad because I was like, dude, it, it, to to make it look at look at what they were trying to do. All this slime came out and all these little heads and and dude, that's exactly like the comic books. But they were they were. I mean, you needed you needed like three years or the technology to advance to make that really good. They it, made it as I'm good as they could. I'm not giving it a pass to Marvel either. The thing is, like, I when I saw fucking Mark Ruffalo on the fucking like oh yeah the 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 Iron Man Hulk thing, I was like, oh my god, why? But, but that his that little, little hair is bouncing yeah. like on the fucking thing, and I was like, oh that, my god, that's horrible. that little that little piece of shit comes to, and because because dude, that was minuscule compared to the mm -hmm. rest of the magical movie we saw. That yeah, little yeah, yeah. that little shit yeah. comes that little shit comes down to time. Yeah. They're the the studio no no the, the company Disney tells them I, we're premiering this date. The movie better be finished. Mm. Dude, it, sometimes they need more time. 
and, yeah, and, yeah. and but the studio doesn't give them more time and they, they have to do the best that they can so they, yeah. they that's what that's what happens that's why we get scenes some scenes that sh- that suck that's yeah, why that like that happens. one the part where he's like uh uncovers his face in the little store on the first movie and it looks like he's not even inside of the fucking costume it looks cut looks old school like fucking like green screen old school yeah. shit i like um, i like how this so. looks i like how venom looks and carnage looks and and honestly studios you should just learn that you should never put any of these characters during the day in a movie yeah in the comic books to begin with they're only out at night so why the fuck yeah. are you to put them during the day they're gonna look fake you can't. Yeah, it's hard to it fucking doesn't... like render a, a light in that sort. Ray uh, tracing, not even ray tracing, could make us mm-hmm. believe it's real. It yeah. won't. We know it's still. It looks good, but it's not real. Mm-hmm. Like, don't yeah. do it during the day. Not these characters. You need everything to be. They have a light behind Venom. Oh, uh, behind Carnage, shining, mm-hmm. and and I kind of didn't like that because yeah. I'm. That's when I felt it looked fake. Um. But I, I like I, I'm still happy about it. Let's get into what I know the forty percent of the entire movie that I know I'm gonna hate. Starting with number one, it's not gonna be nothing like Maximum Carnage. Look, dude, I have I have back there framed somewhere uh, the Maximum Carnage uh, the from the beginning to the end, first issue to the last issue, Maximum Clonage as well. I have the entire saga, motherfuckers. I have the entire fucking Venom, uh, the Todd McFarlane run. I have it all, uh, dude. I have Carnage USA, uh, <laughs> dude. I, I I I am a big fan of these characters, and uh, what bothers me is that it's not anything like the comics because number yeah. one, the biggest thing is missing, Spider Man. Yep. Spider Man's not in there. It's 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 Spider Man. It's a trinity between Venom, Spider Man, Carnage, the symbiotes. Everything comes stems from Spider Man, because when the first symbiote, which is Venom, attaches itself to Peter Parker, Peter Parker had superpowers already. So the symbiote learned those superpowers. Yeah. It learned this guy has web shooters. So I can do that. Shoot webs. This guy has super strength, so I can do... It learned from what Peter had. So when it left Peter, and it attached itself to Eddie Brock, it gave him the same powers. Not because yeah. not because Eddie Brock got shot up with a spider, and, and he has... No, the suit is the one who has the powers. The Spider-Man yeah. powers. But the suit is also an alien. And then the suit has a baby, and the baby is Carnage. And that's like even crazier. Uh, yeah. There's so much shit that's interlaced with the comics, and it's not gonna, nothing's gonna be a part of anything. Uh, it's gonna, it's, it's its own story made up in its own lore. Well, we'll see, man. Um, I don't think, I don't have have high hopes. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't have high hopes on on this movie just because Sony. And you shoot it. This Sony is the type of movie. Just, yeah. This is Godzilla versus Kong. You go this to yeah. see. Venom and Carnage. Mm-hmm. The acting's gonna be bad. The story's gonna be bad. But you just want to see mm. those things fight. Yeah. Um, the beginning was very disapp- of the trailer, and this is what most of the movie's gonna be like. They show you right yeah, away. They, they went overboard on that. They show you right away how bad the movie's gonna suck. The fucking symbiotes like uh, cooking fucking breakfast. Cooking breakfast, and he's singing to him. Uh, and, and what, what, he sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he's like, you want some, uh, uh like, Yes. He sounds like fucking, like, like he wants to be like something else, but it sounds like fucking Arnold. <laughs> he does. You want he... toast with that? <laughs> God damn it. Like, Tom Hardy, I, I don't think you sounded that way in the first one, so why did you change no, the voice? And sound, why did you change the voice to, to be like Arnold? What the shit? Shit, we need to hear his fucking accent again. No, I... Whatever I, he was I trying to fucking it. say. I'll never forget it. Like a wind. <laughs> like, like a turd in the wind. I'll never forget his voice. But it's different. He sounds like yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. I don't know, man. He sounds like motherfucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it's supposed to be funny now? Like... 
now Car ah man venom is funny now what the hell yeah <sighs> venom was never about that but it's it's stupid that's the, what yeah. the movie's gonna be oh two people living in the same body <laughs> that's funny <laughs> the odd couple <laughs> yeah that's that's what the movie's gonna be uh, uh jesus you know what sucks is that we're never gonna get to see doppelganger Doppelganger is a fucking guy that is involved in the Maximum Carnage story, and he's basically like some kind of alien or clone that somebody made, and his eyes are literally the shape of... Look, he's wearing the Spider-Man suit, but I don't think it's a suit. I literally think it's his skin, mm. and his hands have are claws, and he has six arms and two legs like a human. It looks like Spider-Man, and his eyes... He's dressed like Spider-Man, but I think it's his skin that's... He doesn't have a suit. It's his skin. And, yeah. And his eyes are the same as Spider-Man, like that. But they, they have, like, like like a bug. Like the little squares. Yeah. And when oh, he yeah. And when he opened his mouth, he has teeth. Uh, that's Doppelganger, and he was in the Maximum Carnage storyline. But we're not going to get any of that shit. Because no, because this is not efficient. This is its own universe or some bullshit. Well, they're trying to make it things easier. So they're going to fucking introduce one or two characters in each movie. They don't want to fucking fill it up with a bunch well, of Well, you know, I, just... like, oh, I remember that like on the first movie, we thought we were going to get like uh, all of the fucking symbiotes. Did we get all the symbiotes? We did. We got like three or four. But like for a little they... bit. Yeah. And they killed them right away. Yeah. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a detective. I'm showing him right now. <coughs> a detective that's supposed to be Toxin. A guy who later turns into Toxin. Yeah. Which is the, another son that Venom has. Um, but anyway, we're getting too into weird weird comic territory. None, none of that shit none of that shit's gonna happen. Uh but yeah. I just had I just had an epiphany, dude. What? What if check it? Cause we've already seen in the Morbius, the first Morbius trailer, that the Vulture is there. Remember? Yeah, Adrian I and that. Adrian Toomes there, and he talks to him to recruit him. Morbius to recruit him, right? Now, since we're going to get introduced to the multiverse, and Spider-Man, No Way Home, he's bringing villains from other universes. What if... What if... Whatever is going on in the No Way Home movie, the bad guys, they go to other dimensions and they bring bad guys from there. They bring Alfred Molina, they bring Morbius, they bring mm -hmm. Jamie Jamie Foxx Electro, and that's really yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on. And so, what we're seeing in the Morbius movie is what's actually happening in the Spider-Man movie where this guy comes and says, hey, uh, you want to come with us? And you know what I'm saying? And he's actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so Venom and Carnage could be from another reality, and maybe they could get pulled into the MCU. So it can be better characters. <laughs> they can be better characters. <laughs> let's get you over into the not shittier uh, reality. Let's let me get, get you. Here. Let me let me get you over to some good writers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so, down with that. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah, dude, I, I'm excited. Yeah, there's a lot of shit I'm not gonna like, and I fucking hate, and you know, it's not like the comic books, and not even remotely close at all. Yeah. Uh, but I'm seeing Venom and Carnage on on a fucking movie screen, <laughs> I mean, I, at home on my TV, live action. That's finally. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. You know, before before I fucking I start losing my eyesight and shit, and I need like. You know, <laughs> fucking LASIK surgery or some bullshit. <coughs> uh, yeah. No. I'm, I'm glad. I'm happy. I'm cool with it. Uh, cheers to Venom and Carnage. And as soon as we get the fucking movie leaked, you know we're going to fucking leak it. Um, all right. But that's about all we had today. Um... I don't know. I, I don't have any life advice. Do you have any life advice for these motherfuckers, Kike? Not really. What is a good life advice right now? Other than... Oh! Shit. I, 
I got a good one, and, and just All because, right. and just because I'm fucking living through it right now. All right, right here. Let's do hear. not, do not take a shower during a motherfucking thunderstorm. <laughs> the lights might go out. No, <laughs> no. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually serious about this one for once. Um, Why? What happened? No, not happened to me. But it's happening. <laughs> okay. But it's happening to people. You could die. By taking a shower during a thunderstorm. They have found, and this was this was in the fucking I read about this in the 1960s and 50s and shit. They used to find people dead in the showers after thunderstorms, and they used to think they used to think it was a serial killer, and they didn't, couldn't figure it out. What the fuck was going on? Uh, so this is what what could potentially happen, and what has happened. I don't think potentially is a word. <laughs> it is when you, it is it is when you've done this, okay? It is when you've done this. Okay. What could potentially happen to you? Uh, what is it? Lightning could strike down the earth to the pipe, mm -hmm. to the pipe, mm -hmm. and that pipe will shoot up electricity and will shock you. In the shower and you die. <laughs> really? You you laugh. Look it up. <laughs> Pe people have died. <laughs> All right. I've never heard of such a thing, but okay. I'll I'll, I'll fucking Google look it up. Shit. Look it up. Wait on, wait until the storm. <laughs> wait until the storm passes. Then you can take a shower. All right. You know. Yeah, I'm just saying. Anyways, so you're, gonna go, you're gonna go to go. You're gonna go to sleep all stinky and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I'd rather be stinky than than dead. I don't work tomorrow. I I can take a shower tomorrow when there's not a fucking storm. You piece of shit. I might I might not even sleep. Who knows? We'll see. That's, that's I'll look Anyways, we're done for tonight. That was your advice. Don't yeah. take a fucking shower during a thunderstorm. You wait until after the storm. Or take it really quick before the storm, you idiots. <laughs> I don't want to find none of you dead. I'm just saying. Uh, anyways, uh, cheers, and we'll catch you next time. Whenever we get some fucking new news. I told you there was a drive spell. Hurry up, Marvel. Give us some shit. Yeah.